Hello, beta testers. <laughs> Look at that. Gaming is healing. And you, beta tester, are winning. Specifically if you haven't been funding this trash. Steam may hide your reviews. YouTube may hide your dislikes. Outlets may filter your comments. Pussies may censor your media and tell lies, deceive, even mock you. But that's all they have. In their ignorance, they've made many of your voices louder. They're forced to move the goalposts because how can they argue with what is irrefutably right? Right is incorrect. Maybe one of these games ended up what you were playing, and you realize just how easy it was to push their buttons with them. The truth isn't popular. Life isn't easy. Stove hot, water wet. You, beta tester, have naturally, as a sexy and passionate human being, learned to test your environment without wasting excess effort. Sometimes telling the truth is enough to get you muzzled, banned, suspended, or voice. And given you weren't just being a spurgy little son bitch, the truth will reveal delusional, comfortable, and lazy people. Some of these butthurt, quote, developers are so desperate to reduce and lower your expectations that if you take a picture of these hack game developers, I'm not sure that they wouldn't become enraged and lash out at you for stealing their soul. Their simple minds incapable of grasping the concept of technology. They'd probably be shrieking about whether or not that's AI. Is that AI? Get me off that AI. Developers done goofed. Everybody's making restaurant analogies, so let me make one. So, like, you order your food, and you expect it to be, you know, the definition of what it is. Let's say it's a cheeseburger, and they come out, and it doesn't have cheese. But it, it, it couldn't stop there. It's undercooked, and, uh, incomplete. Naturally, it tastes bad. And then the cooks, or developers, designers, shills, they come out and claim that you need to change your taste buds to align with what this is. It doesn't matter if it doesn't meet the definition of what the meal is. You should just like this. And that'd be funny enough if it stopped there. But imagine we take our money somewhere else and go get something that's closer to what the definition is. And they got to come in with their commentary into the other restaurant and be all like, well, it may not, but that's an unrealistic stand. That's for real where the developers are right now whining a real gamer can appreciate something as simple as a tea bag so pure so sweet a tender moment that any shooter developer should know to delay respawn just enough with to grant whomever died a glance at their bodies desecration Lazy is naturally a trigger word for these developers who, of course, refuse to earn the time or money of the people that they need to retain their job. They expose their nerves and show us where they're weak in so absurd a display that we know we don't have to do anything. They can be left alone because they'll be their own undoing, and their time has come. Your time has come, developers. Elapsed. Leaping lizards. Your computer and pocket technology has been your trusty Robin since your earliest days. A wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey instrument that's helped you take shortcuts and save you weeks in time and shave years off in the way of effort. It has helped all of us. The government sees our technology as exclusively a tracking and monitoring device to hack into the cameras and microphones of to observe us real good. But when we have disagreed, we've sailed the high seas. And when they've had some shit to say like, you wouldn't download a car, we stopped, assessed. And no, we, we would download a car. Media has found its way into an inexplicably comfortable position of deliberately pushing ugly and expecting financial support. Eh, you know, they actually talented and greedy among developers specifically have tricked 
cock destiny player lady boys into tolerating what the hell ever they'll put on their plate, you know? But at least the gunplay was there. Blizzard caliber greed can't retain players. It's all product and no game. Twice, nigga deuce, Bl Blizzard made a fun game and ruined it with nerfs, with Overwatch, with Diablo. A golden goose thrown away as yet another company goes full Marvel MCU, throwing away everything they've set up in favor of this new stupid idea that you have, you know? You think they were the first to do it? No. And they certainly won't be the last. Like this video and erect speakers that don't cater to their bullshit. It's the only thing helping these things push through. What's funny is they're well aware of how unpopular, ugly, and unappealing their lazy garbage is, but they define evil by doing it anyway. Lies before money is exchanged, rug pulls. Now the game's a different way. Oftentimes, they're remaking a property where all the work has already been done. You got a built-in audience, all you have to do is not fuck it up. But that's just too hard because their way would be better and their changes are super modern and in touch with a modern audience. Destiny would even openly admit things like quality not mattering at their conferences and saying as long as they had the cadence down that you clowns would line up to buy the new hats and they were right. Destiny's story is so bad deliberately bad that they can sell campaign skips and it allows for the gender ideology to really shine with piss poor garbage smarmy wannabe witty writing to dominate that space great but beta tester you know the biggest threat imaginable is you properly educated if you've been a gamer for more than a minute, you know that when Kotaku says something, it's definitely the opposite. And the recently blacklisted Kotaku is at the moment saying, don't use Baldur's Gate as a weapon, which is crazy. That's what you've been doing with everything as it pertains to what we have liked in the way of virtue signaling to deliberately make the games irrefutably worse. The vanquished evil that was the witch Sarkeesian doesn't even deserve the fanfare of us farting in her general direction. Baldur's Gate has shown us developer, journalist, shill, your hypocrisy hypocrisy, and we won't sully our blades slicing through your putrid meat. Imagine being developers so pathetic that your long-faced, horsey asses have to try to convince the new car drivers that <laughs> horses are the actual way of the future. That doesn't represent a real standard, those cars out there. They're just an anomaly and unreasonable, so you should lower your expectations and take whatever I give you, bitch. You know you fucking providing content to niggas who feel like memeing on your sorry ass, but we don't even need to step. We can step over the corpse as you're replaced by AI. Shut the fuck up. You better not be listening to this with your sorry ass. Shut the fuck up. It's almost like saying that all the women that you know are fat and ugly, so in your objectively bad game, people should just accept ugly women. Tee hee. No. These Kotaku-stained wallowers and entities like them have invented a standard so low it falls below what we were used to 10 years ago and invited disgust, disdain, and disrespect with your own actions. You're pulling a Rachel Ziegler. You're not the fucking victim here. The woman who abused her power and fumbled it succeeded in swindling people out of their money and cocking you studios. So now the East wins in a single frame because you denied them up until this point. They have so much attention for their jiggle physics waifus that trying to even dip into husbandos to balance things out literally causes an uproar. Remember when the West used to get this kind of attention over things? You killed all your properties. Not once. You like it so nice you do it twice. This isn't data that will be ignored over there. McDonald's sees the Bud Light fiasco, they see Disney burning, and they see people becoming educated about ESG, DEI, and particularly how these things tie into the woke garbage that's being pushed into media that is then ruined. So they accordingly act in the interest of the money. Gaming 
is healing. Kotaku blacklisted? Blizzard rejected? Developers literally crying because Baldur's Gate got ass and pussy standards? And boy, are they setting standards that we will force upon y'all because that's how it works. Thanks for showing us your purple weak spot. Get fucked, Rocksteady. You want to block niggas like me? You have lost your damn mind, new freshman developers. Game journalists in their death throes babbling out spit-laced shrieks before artificial intelligence writes articulate articles much better than they ever could, much better than they, them, ever could, are being forced to realize who the fuck they serve. Destin on IGN? Uh, spitting facts, as the kids say? He must be forced! Is somebody standing out of frame with a fucking lock on that target? After all, they celebrated sex with a goddamn bear. Larian Studios demonstrated something I only see in fellow Floridians. A lack of concern for what will compromise fun. And fun the game is. Fun at a glance. Let's party. You can see that in the same way that some mass cheeks in the first descendant will show everything that everybody needs to see and make people go, oh, I'd probably try that. How much is it? It's free. After all, Western games spent years denying customers, toning down content, removing features that they were vocal about wanting. Now it's simply someone else's turn. What if Fortnite, <laughs> with their free ass, decided that it's time for them to jump into the shooter category? When they want to flex their little engine or their creative updates, they throw out a TDM, they throw out a little bit of objective, and boy does it play well. They could probably remake Doom or Unreal Tournament and just drop that in there for you to play with your skins. Why doesn't Fortnite care? Fortnite has that many balls in the air. Battlefield release with no scoreboard though. Call of Duty's groomer ass is like a walking corpse right now. Jeffrey Smith and Joe Seacott slowed down Call of Duty so damn hard in their trans Rainbow Six military sim wannabe bullshit that SBMM and casual disbanding lobbies, it's just instantly inferior to a game a decade old. In games like X Defiant, they will market themselves on what y'all don't have. Devs who hate progress. We, we just saw y'all do this. We just saw y'all do this with Elden Ring. People had shit to say about Elden Ring working for Ubisoft, working on Marvel's Avengers. What the hell are we supposed to say to that? It's just laugh time. You know what I'm saying? You're Americans and you can't make a gun game. You're taking the ball out of the sports game. You're taking the cars out of the racing game. You're taking the ring out of wrestling. You're taking the dinosaur out of Jurassic Park. Call of Duty could not withstand the scrutiny of a JPEG of a silencer. That's how shit that game is. The fact that y'all niggas so bad that it's only the fact that you have no competition that keeps you afloat. Bitch, your days are numbered. Your, your job can be done better by anyone who tries. So, good luck.